Google's Gmail service has reportedly been blocked in China. This after months of disruptions and as an anti-censorship uh, advocate suggests that the great firewall is to blame. So joining us now to break all of this down is Mark Spoonauer, editor-in-chief at Tom's Guide. Mark, thanks for joining us today. No, thank you. Uh, so what does this mean potentially for businesses in China? If Google's Gmail service has been blocked there, uh, so many companies use this service as their corporate email. What does it mean for those companies? Sure. Well, they're going to have to find a workaround. I mean, up until now, a lot of people have been able to access Gmail, not through the web because that was blocked in June, but through devices like this, through services like Apple Mail and Outlook. But now that has been blocked you know, at the IMAP and the IP address level. So that, that's a serious threat. So what companies need to do now is now look at workarounds like using VPN software, and that seems to be the only fix that works at the moment. And Mark, according to several reports, uh, the relationship between China and Google has been a long and complicated one. Why do you think we're getting these new reports now that Gmail service has been blocked? Yeah, well, it actually started back in June when Gmail, the web service, went offline, and it's progressed since then. And I think what it's really about is censorship and control. It's what, what China wants to do is push people off of Google services that they can't closely monitor onto Chinese services that they can. And I, I think just the tensions have not eased and it's just things have gotten worse. And what does this mean for Google itself? I mean, we're seeing this relationship with China potentially uh, getting worse. Is this the beginning of the end for, the re for Google's presence in China? Well, it would be a shame if that were true, but th there is a pattern here. In 2009, Google took off its search engine and pulled that from, from the web in China. And now you have this latest uh, blockage. But in a way, it's sort of playing into China's hands because they want to censor the internet there and, and closely control what people communicate. So I, I hope that they find a way to find other workarounds. VPN is one and work with the businesses there because there's so many businesses that rely on Gmail. So hopefully they, they sort of don't give up, but things are heading in that direction, which is a shame. Yeah. And just uh, one quick follow-up question here for you, and that's how important is China to Google? After all, it is the second largest economy. We've seen a lot of tech companies moving into China. How important is it to Google? Well, it's just too big a market to ignore. So, And, and that's why it's incumbent upon them to maybe get back to the negotiating, t negotiating table with China to find a way to, to work this out. This might be a hardball tactic. On, on the Chinese government's part to make that happen. But there are so many companies investing in China, like Xiaomi just got a, a $45 billion valuation. So you know that the, the investments aren't stopping. It's how do you find a way to balance the communication and freedom of the internet with the way that China does business. Mm. Mark Spoonauer, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day.